from Southwest Florida's news leader. This is Wink News, now at 5. Lung cancer kills more men and women than any type of cancer, and the disease is usually caused by cigarettes. But despite the risks, many smokers find themselves unable to stop. Now, there are a lot of options out there to help you kick the habit, but in tonight's Eye on Your Health, Jennifer Stacy shows us one that may have you doing a double take. Lois and Chris, a smoking alternative popular overseas has made landfall here and is raising some eyebrows in the process. The e-cigarette was brought to the U.S. by Cape Coral resident and Germany native Dieter Fiebig. After his wife of 41 years lost her fight with lung cancer, he was inspired to help other smokers quit. Now, do I know that it's not good for me? Of course. But I enjoy it. The way I see it is everybody has one bad habit, mind smoking. Smoking is a tough habit to extinguish. It is very difficult. It's among the hardest addictions for people to quit. But a new tool called the E or electronic cigarette may snuff out the habit for good. It tastes like a cigarette, but without the poisoning substances of the cigarette. The device, which costs around $200, operates on a rechargeable battery powering a red light that glows in the tip. You can inhale it, you can just smoke it, it's vapor from water, that's all it is. So how real is it? We had smokers give it a try. Oh, the smoke that comes out of it. It tastes like strawberry. This is weird. <laughs> so far, no major American health organization has endorsed the product, but the company offers incentive to customers. Quit within three weeks of buying e-cigarette and get a $100 rebate. But it would have to be a part of a program that someone is doing to address other than just the behavioral hand-to-mouth. There's many components to treating a nicotine addiction, and this is only one small piece of that. E-cigarettes are already popular smoking alternatives in Europe and China, but will they work here? If I was going to quit, I would probably try it out. For somebody who's trying to quit smoking, this just might do the trick. In other countries, non-smoking restaurants, bars, and even airlines sometimes permit the use of e-cigarettes. That's still a challenge here, though, because that device does look so realistic. Again, no major American regulatory agencies have studied this product. But we want to do our own unscientific study here at Wink. For those of you trying to quit, log on to our website, winknews.com, and tell us your story. We'll pick some of you to try out the e-cigarette for free for three weeks. Then we're going to follow up to see if the device really works. Lois and Chris, back to you. Mm, that'll be very interesting. It is. Did you see it when they had it in the newsroom? No. It is so realistic. If somebody didn't tell you it was fake, you uh -huh. would never know. Except wow. for the smell. You can't smell the smoke, right, obviously. Right, right. Wow. Mm. Amazing. From Southwest Florida's news leader, this is Wink News, now at 5. Now, could a mock cigarette with no nicotine help smokers kick the habit? This got a lot of reaction. We first told you about a product called the e-cigarette last month, and now we're going to put it to the test. Jennifer Stacy has tonight's Eye on Your Health. Well, Chris, hundreds of viewers wrote in, as you know, and offered to try out the e-cigarette for us. We narrowed those emails down to just eight smokers who desperately want to quit for themselves and for others in their families. I think it really comes down to feeling so terribly ashamed of myself. I have a 15-year-old daughter. I'm a single dad. And... I've always raised her to believe that there's nothing you can't do. Well, when I have my daughter come to me and go, why can't you quit smoking? I gotta stand up and do it. So, and besides, I wanna be around. I know. Parents, husbands, wives, and even former members of the medical profession make up our group of smokers. They all hope the e-cigarette will act as an oral fixation and help them quit. The product operates on a rechargeable battery and even lights up, emitting a vapor that looks like smoke. It has several cartridges that you can bring anywhere to take the place of cigarettes. One of our participants hopes it'll soon be the only thing he has to bring with him. I need to quit, I really do, because my lungs are terrible. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of medicine that I have to take that I really wouldn't have to if I didn't smoke. After three weeks, we'll check in with our volunteers to see if that product helped them quit smoking. Now, since the e-cigarette contains no nicotine, we have instructed them to use it in conjunction with gum or a patch or another device. Now, if you'd like some more information about that e-cigarette or our participants, you can head on to our website, winknews.com. Los and Chris, back to you. Well, good luck to all of them. 
Southwest Florida's news leader. This is Week News, now at 6. Gums, patches, hypnotism, acupuncture, and pills, all methods on the market today to help people quit smoking. But now there's a new product promising to provide you with the solution that you need. Wink News Eye on Your Health reporter Jennifer Stacy wanted to know how and, more importantly, if it really works, Jen. Well, Lois and Chris, a smoking alternative popular in Europe has made landfall here. We first showed you the e-cigarette in March, a device which simulates smoking and whose makers say can be used to help people quit. We got a huge response from our viewers, so we decided to let some of them give it a try. Smoking is a tough habit to extinguish. I am a chronic asthmatic person. Just ask this asthma sufferer who's a regular at the hospital because he can't breathe. I need to quit, I really do, because my lungs are terrible. Or this single dad whose daughter fears for his life. When I have my daughter come to me and go, why can't you quit smoking? I gotta stand up and do it. Or this woman who has spent more than five thousand dollars trying to quit. One more thing I've tried and will, uh, will try. <coughs> I hope it works. I really hope it works. An entire group with similar stories, hoping the e-cigarette will help them snuff out the habit for good. The device, which contains no nicotine, operates on a rechargeable battery powering a red light that glows on the tip. Water vapor can be inhaled, simulating smoke. Our group took the e-cigarette home and tried it for the company's recommended three weeks. So how'd they do? For two of our female testers, efforts went up in smoke. I actually didn't get through the whole first week because it didn't work. Diane said it was hard to get her e-cigarette to emit vapor, and the device was too heavy. I was so uncomfortable, and I began to believe this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. The news was better for two others. Both were able to cut back. I would knock down my, my, my usage. I'm um, smoking about a pack and a half, and I'm down to about a half a pack a day, which is really good. Justin's biggest cheerleader, his five-year-old son. Uh -huh. Kids were a big motivator for our other three dads, too. I have not spoke since you I seen you last. Like John, all were able to quit with the help of e-cigarettes. For the first two weeks, I used it whenever I had the urge that I really wanted a cigarette. I used it just like it was a cigarette. And it worked for me. I want to get married. I want to go to college. I want to have grandkids. This gives me five more years. That's a fact. Congratulations to him and our other uh, viewers who were able to quit. But we do want to make it clear here. Wink News is in no way endorsing this product. And so far, no major American health organization is backing it. The medical experts we talked to say that most people would have to use the device in conjunction with other options like nicotine patches or gum. And again, it's not cheap. The e-cigarette device costs $200, but it is reusable. For more information, you can log on to our website, winknews.com, and click on the Eye on Your Health section. Chris, back to you.